A D S R Pro. Hi guys, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Um, I was asked a question on YouTube by Zaguli regarding the auto loop finding feature in Halion 6 and is there any chance I could show how well it works. So what I thought I'd do is basically just go through uh, what I know. So now I'm just going to import any old sample. This is a base sample. Now when you go through your sample packs what you might find is some are automatically looped. Now I'm guessing that's obviously embedded within the sample already. Uh, these particular ones, as you can see, there's no green region, uh, which is the auto loop. So you can hear there, we've just got a, a little bass note. Now, if we click on our sample tab, and here you can see our sample, what we need to do is click on the loop tab. So from main, click on loop, and we're going to click continuous. And instantly, you can see it's automatically put in a couple of regions. So let's just see how that sounds. Not bad, but not, not brilliant. And what we can do is we can edit the loop region. And you've got find previous loop start and find previous loop end. And we can just basically just click on these. And that's one way. of altering the loop regions. Alternatively, we can just do it ourselves. So let's maybe start, let's maybe start somewhere like that. Now you'll notice up here, I've actually got snap to zero crossing. Now that will make a big difference. If that wasn't on, what would happen is I could start it at some point during the waveform playback and you would get a, an, an audible audio clip. Uh, you could still get that now, even with that on, but uh, the idea is just let's find that smooth, smooth transition. Now with this being a modulating waveform, obviously it is always gonna sound not perfect but we can increase the crossfade amount and it smooths it just a little bit so that's not too bad basically just mess around until you're happy okay not perfect let's try another one and let's try a different burst sound let's try something let's try that one see how that sounds so again, you can see, you know, this is basically just a bass pluck. It's always going to be a little bit awkward because there is the release of the sample. However, we should get a little section in here possibly that's that's definitely usable. So let's, again, click on loop, continuous, and automatically it's put some loop points in. As you can see, they're probably going to be no good whatsoever. So let's just listen. So what we can do is... I wonder if we can get, let's just see if we can zoom in a bit more, we can't. So again, not perfect by any means. 
Now let's click back on sound and let, let's find a completely different type of sound. Uh, what have we got? We've got a lead. Um, so let's see how well it does with these. Okay, so again, let's go back onto the sample tab, on loop, continuous, and you can see automatically again it's created that loop region. Not perfect by any means. zoom in a bit and let's just find it try and find a completely different region let me take that off so let's let's maybe try just at the end here again with this being a modulating waveform you can see there's all sorts of movement in the audio so getting a real nice smooth transition could be quite hard so that's not too bad So you can see it's not perfect, but then, you know, it's always going to be hard when you've got a modulation um, of some description because it's never going to be the same. Whereas if you're using a pure tone, let's say a sine wave or saw wave, obviously you can take one cycle and it will loop perfectly. So let's just try another one and let's just try it. So you can hear there's quite a modulation on there, but their modulations are quite similar. So we should be able to loop that modulation around possibly. So let's have a listen. So again, click on continuous. Let's just zoom in. So from about there, I think. So that's not too bad and let's quickly try one more just so you can see and make your own mind up now that one should be relatively easy to get a nice loop
Let's just increase the crossfade to try and get rid of that initial. So there you go, that's not too bad. Again, make your own mind up. I'm still getting used to Halion 6. Um, I don't fully understand the complete ins and outs, but I hope this has given you some insight into uh, the actual automatic loop regions. Now, again, like I said, some samples in particular, when you open them up, will already have a loop region, and to be honest, some of them are absolutely spot on every time. So, uh, well done. Uh, if you like what I do, please do subscribe to my channel, and until next time, bye-bye. A. D. S. R. Pro.